Harold Hankite is so, so stupidly easy. Everyone should do it. Let's look at it. Full Harrier's gear. Uh, this is going to give us our 100% boon duration, a good bit of healing power, lots of power to kill prides, zero toughness so that our tank can do whatever they want, and if tank goes down, the other healer should be the backup instead of Deimos coming over to you. And uh, you don't actually want extra vitality. Got a little bit here from my Jadebot core. But in general, extra vitality actually means you have to heal yourself more. After a mind crush, you get a debuff called Weak Mind for 10 seconds, which does 7% of your maximum health as damage for those 10 seconds. So more vitality just means you have to heal yourself more. We're using Greatsword here for the chill on the auto attack, and you've got a rush and chill on skill 3, you've got nice damage on skill 5, and of course you have a block on skill 4. This is a 10 energy, 12 second cooldown, and 2 second duration channeled block. On staff, you've got your healing wave here on skill 4, and skill 3 is your block, which works the exact same way, so you're never going to be surprised with how your different blocks work. 10 energy, 12 second cooldown, 2 second duration. This build revolves around three boons, resistance, protection, regeneration. From the corruption trait line, we get resistance when we swap legends. Resistance gives us 20% damage reduction and taking heals. From the salvation trait line, we get some barrier when we give ourselves boons. We get resistance, again, when we use our Ventari Elite. We also have 15% damage reduction when we heal, and because of regen, we're going to have this up permanently. From our Herald trait line, we're going to get 20% regeneration improvement. We're going to get 1.5% damage reduction per point of upkeep, and when we're in Glint, that's going to be about an extra 10% damage reduction. We also get an extra 10% damage reduction when we have our Elite Facet active. We get an extra 10% boon duration from our F2 facet, which is going to be kept up permanently. And when we consume our heal facet, which you might have to do if you're, for whatever reason, stuck without the ability to block using a weapon skill, you can use your glint heal facet consume to block mind crush. This will give us that extra buffer of regeneration uptime so that never drops. We've got extreme damage turned on, and I'm going to walk in without any boons or anything active just to see what we're starting with. 2178, that damage will kill us pretty quickly. But here's how this build works in action. Before the fight really starts, you can be killing prides, you can be booning up the people that are killing statues with your glint facets, you can be consuming the facets to do damage to prides. Once damage is about to spawn though, you want to be inventory. We're going to do this to make sure we get a nice buffer of resistance to start the fight. So we're going to hit our inventory elite, we're going to swap to glint, we're going to turn on our heal and elite facets, and our F2. That F2 will stay on for the entire fight. You also don't want to consume your glint facets unless you're doing the middle facets. You can spam those to kill prides. But the heal facet, if you consume it, it takes 30 seconds to come back. That's not the end of the world, but you want to save that just in case you cut yourself in a bad spot and you need that to block a mind crush. And the glint elite, again, you can use it to kill prides, but otherwise you want to make sure you always have it to give yourself protection. So we're down to 803 damage per tick, down from 2178, so that's about 60% damage reduction um, at all times. We're going to swap Legends, we're going to use our Ventari Elite, get ourselves back up to 15 or so seconds of resistance, and if you're feeling froggy, we can use that Elite again, even if you want. Uh, but after the first couple rotations, just swapping Legends off cooldown will upkeep resistance on its own, and we'll be good to go. You can see we're actually passively healing through this. I'm not even using any active heal skills. I'm not really doing much of anything, to be honest. And we're passively healing through this much damage. When you are in the fight, a fifth stack of hands does a tiny bit more damage than this does. So you can just walk out of it and you're good. You don't have to dodge. You don't have to count hands obsessively. You can sit there through six or seven stacks of hands uh, if you misstep and you'll be fine. It's not gonna down you. So long as you upkeep all of your boons correctly, you will be fine. In fact, after a couple of rounds and you have your um, buffer on resistance, you can send your Ventari tablet off and start healing salt. You can heal the party. You can do whatever you need to do to help people out, run around and res and grab those tears. All right, it's a really comfy build. And when prides show up, you're gonna rush over, you're gonna start auto attacking, and you're going to maintain permanent chill on them without any problem. Just make sure 
you never go below 10 energy like I just did. You want to make sure you always have 10 energy for either a block here in your greatsword or a block on skill 3 on staff. Now, be aware, like I just did there, when you use your um, heal facet and activate it, it will cancel any other skill. But if you do that and cancel your block right before Mind Crush, don't worry. Just double tap your heal because that Infused Light will also block Mind Crush for you. So after a Mind Crush, though, do you block it? You're going to start taking that taking damage. That is when you're going to have to actively heal yourself. So be careful about your energy. Make sure, again, you don't drop it too low. But you're going to use your Ventari skill to heal. You're going to use your Staff 4. You're going to dodge. Do whatever you got to do. And if all that doesn't work you've got your glint heal as well. You can actually use that heal and then purposely run back through the hands. That'll get you back up to full health. And after that 10 second debuff is gone, you're back in business. Everything's fine. Super comfy build.